Hey everyone, here's a question on factors. The question is, write all the factors of 60. So, what do you mean by factors? Factors means a number which can divide 60. Uh, all those numbers which can divide 60 will be factors of uh, 60. In other words, we can say that in which in, in which all table the 60 goes will be a factor of 60. For example, uh, 60 goes in two tables, so 2 will be a factor of 60. So, now we have a number which is just a two digit number, it's a small number, right? So, what we're going to do, we're going to find in which all table 60 goes from 1 to 10. We're going to check the tables from 1 to 10 and we'll see in which all table 60 comes and that's it. And those will be the factors. Now, this will be not applicable for a bigger number. I'm doing this because this number is smaller. In this way, we can be able to find out the uh, factors of 60. If you have a larger number or three digit number, in that case, like uh, this method may not be applicable. You can get the answers, but you will not get all the factors of uh, the given number. So, when you have a two digit number or smaller numbers, you can use this one. You just check the tables from 1 to 10, you will get it. Okay. So, uh, every number is a factor, uh, like 1 will be a factor of every number because every number goes in one table. So, we are going to write it as 1 into 60 is equal to 60, right. Now, this number goes in two table because it is an even number, even number all will go in two table. So, 2 threes are is 6, right. So, 2 into 30 will be equal to 60, I am just keeping one zero. And next we have 3, it goes in 3 table because 3 twos are 6. So, 3 twenties are will be equal to 60. Now, we have 4, this number goes in 4 table too. So, if you do not know uh, by what number we should multiply 4 to get 60, you can divide here. You can divide 60 and 4, 4 ones are 4, subtract it, we will get 2 as a remainder, drop the 0. We got 20, now 4 fives are is 20. Now, subtract so, we got remainder 0. The remainder 0 means this number goes in 4 table. If you got some remainder which means that the number does not go in that table. So, we get a 0, right? So, 15 is the answer. So, for 4 into 15 will going to give us 60. Now, this number goes in 5 table because uh, the number ends with 0. So, it goes in 5 table. 5 twelves are is 60. You can divide and check out if you do not know. And the next we have a 6. 6 tens are 60, right? 6 tens are 60. Now, 60 does not go in 11 table, it goes in 10 table, but uh, we have already written that 6 tens are is 60. So, if you write down 10 six are, it means the same thing, right? The last one which we have written, they both are same, so we do not have to write it again. So, all the factors, what are the factors here? All this number we got here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this side. That is 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 and 60. This will be the factors of 60. It is very simple, right? So, let us write down the factors of 60. Therefore, factors of 60 is equal to, you have to just write down all the numbers. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, but make sure that it, uh, the numbers does not repeat. And then we have a 10, 12, 15, uh, 20 and 30 and 60. That's it. So, I hope this answer is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.